This video will cover how to set up inroads and in SmartWorks Viva for coding and data transfer back and forth between the two. This video applies to SmartWorks Viva and SmartWorks Viva LT. Code list created here will be available in these two applications. All right, here we are back in friendly Power Inroads V8i. And what we'd like to do is set up a Viva controller with some coding and code lists and attributes that are going to be used in our style manager here in Inroads. So right now I'm assuming and starting off that we already have uh, styles set up in Inroads. Now what we want to do is be able to use those styles and make sure that we get the exact right ones over into our code list for our system. So in Inroads, what we want to do is go to Tools and style manager to see what we have and here we have all of the styles and some general groups and inside a style name there is alpha codes and the alpha codes are what we're going to actually put in in the field that are going to get attached to symbology when it gets imported into inroads so in this case we'll set up some sample quick ones um, a good example here is some trees so we want a c tree um, for a conifer tree is what we have. Now you can see there are four types of codes that could be a C tree in inroads. So what we're going to do is we're going to make alpha codes for each one of these four. And then in this case, we can go to the survey features and we'll go to the attributes. And on each one of these, there's a drip line, height, and a size attribute that we want to put in for each one of these. So what we want to do now is set up our controller so that we have not only the attributes for these but we want to do some other things as well when we work across so our example and I'll leave this in the background is going to be these four tree types with these attributes on them all right here are simulators up we have our codes here that we want to move across we want to actually build a code list like these so what I'm going to do is go to jobs and data job properties in our code list and here I've already started a code list named Bentley so let's go to our codes and we want to make a new one different than the tree that was in there so the first one that we're gonna make is called C we'll do all caps C tree there we go so we're exactly like our alpha code is over here it's gonna be a point code and we're not gonna do line work with trees now in Bentley there's a couple options that we've got there's control codes and also string codes that we could put on things so if we had codes and in general we always want to use stringing and control codes which are for example your string number and then the ST um, SP all those kinds of control codes that Bentley understands after codes we can do that in a couple ways um, one of those is to use attribute 1 and attribute 2 for those codes um, the reason I'm bringing up now is you have to kind of make a decision now on your code list whether you want to use that method or not in this case we won't um, I'm gonna go right into creating attributes so we've got our code in here and now we want to make attribute number one now these attributes just need to match what's up here so that Bentley knows what's coming so in this case we'll say drip line there we've got drip line so that matches this alpha code that's up here it's going to be a drip line diameter now let's add another one and it will be height and there we go so we've got drip line and height we're also going to need to have the size one in there whoops didn't mean to click off there so we'll say attribute there we'll call it size and there we go so there's the three attributes that will match the ones up here I'll say store so there it is for C tree now let's make another one just to match another one of these let's call it a fern same as what we had here attribute one notice I can put these in backwards I could do size attribute height and we'll add another one and it will be drip line so there you can see that we have these three in there in a different order than they happen to be last time so we'll store this code and now we have C tree and C fern so I'd like to take these and use these in this job so now what we'll do is we'll say go to work now we'll just navigate up to survey and start storing a point or two using these codes so 
Here I'm using the simulator on a TPS measurement. We don't care about the measurement. We just want to get a few of these in so we can see them. So I'm going to change the code to C tree because that's what we picked is some of the things in here. I want to add some information in the drip line. Uh, let's just make that a 20 foot drip line. Uh, we'll make it a 30 foot tree and a 20 inch trunk because that's what uh, that's the way we have these set up to work in inroad. So I'll just say measure and it'll store us a point there. And once we have point number one stored, we can move on. Now that we've got one point stored, we'll do it again. We'll switch over to a fern just for the fun of it. And we'll put in a height only of 20 for that one, um, just because we can. And I'll hit measure. And we've stored two points. All right, now that we have everything uh, done in our field job, we're ready to bring that stuff back into inroads. This is really easy. No need to export the data. Um, if you want to bring it across directly from the DBX form right into an FWD file ready to go, inroads has the tools to do that. So what we need is we need to make sure that we have the translators for Leica in here. If you don't have the translators already set up here, you can go to Tools, Application Add-ins, and then use your scroll bar down to find the export to Leica DBX as well as the translate Leica DBX. Um, I like those two and they'll, as soon as you check the boxes and say OK, they will be available here when you say translators. So in this case, what I want to do is translate like a DBX and this will turn it into an FWD file, which is the actual inroads file. So here I've navigated to my SD card to that Bentley job that we were creating in the field that has our two individual points in it. And I simply click the project that I want to convert and say apply. This will create one. I've already got a couple in here. Um, so this is going to overwrite one and that's fine. We're just going to overwrite the uh, Bentley FWD file that's here. So I'll say yes and we'll close this down. Now we need to open that FWD file in inroads. So we'll just say file, open, navigate to it, and here's Bentley that we just created. And we'll say open. Here I did the job in the field in metric. Here we're in international feed. It's taking care of the conversions for us. We'll say yes. And here's our file for us. So here we are, here's our job, here's our setup, here's the two measurements we took, one and two. Now, if everybody that uses Bentley knows that when you have a black code, that means it found it in our tables. Red codes have coding issues. So we can pick one. Um, let's start with our C tree and we'll say edit. And right here is our drip line size, height, and information. So everything about our information, what we stored, what we measured is all here. Here's our observation information, um, as well as all the attributes close this one. Uh, let's look at our fern. Let's edit it. And there you can see just the height of 20 came across. So wherever we happen to put that attribute, it read it, it did it correctly, and it put it in the right spot. And that's it for actually bringing it across. We now have the points in power and roads ready to go. And that concludes this video. Thank you for your time. For more information, please visit our website at www.leica-geosystems.com. For any questions or if you need any more assistance on this, please email us at survey.support at leicaus.com. And also, don't forget MyWorld to register all of your equipment so that you can get features, downloads, and software updates as well as manuals for everything that you have.